Hello, you guys. Welcome and welcome back to the underground. We are going to get into another reading for you guys to see what's happening next in your love life. What could be coming towards you? I feel like you guys could definitely be having some type of telepathy in a situation. You may know that there are people that are going to be coming towards you just because you've been improving yourself or possibly because you haven't been paying attention to love. You can feel or sense someone trying to kind of come into your energy. All right. And this could definitely because be because your light is shining really brightly. Okay. Y'all be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like the video. If it's resonating, put a purple heart in the comments. Spam those bad boys. Let me know that it's resonating. Um, and let's see for the collective. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God, for the collective. What is happening next with the collective when it comes to love? What's the next events that could be taking place for the collective when it comes to love? Okay, we have sister. Interesting. What's happening next for the collective when it comes to love? What's happening next? Faithful. So some of you could have a sister who wants to kind of like patch things up with you. And then we have telepathy again. Ooh. <laughs> There's, I feel some situations that you have to resolve or that, I mean, you don't have to, but that people want to resolve with you. Okay, we have Faithful. What else could be happening next for the collective when it comes to love? Confrontation. Mm. Yeah, I feel like there's there's a notification that you're getting. This could be literally... Somebody is just like your grandmother or very similar to your grandmother. A dynamic between you and your sister could be similar to a dynamic that your grandmother had with their sibling or something like that. Yeah, what else could be happening next for the collective when it comes to love? Ooh, yeah, siblings, brothers. So there's definitely something about your siblings here. And there may be some type of confrontation that's taking place either with these siblings about your love life or this could be the siblings of someone who you're interested in. But telepathy again. Oh, my God. So there's a mental connection that's really strong between you and another person. And I feel that you can sense this person coming towards you. And then we have voodoo. So there could definitely be some type of control that someone wants to have over your love life. You may have siblings who are really overbearing or very much so in your business when it comes to what you do in your love life. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. It's just, it just feels a little heavy, okay? It, it definitely feels a little heavy. It feels like there could be some type of confrontation, but there's someone here who wants to know that they are, they, it's like they want you to know that they're faithful. I don't know. Someone's siblings could be trying to ruin your relationship with somebody, with this person. Your siblings could be trying to ruin your relationship with this person. It just depends. I feel like someone's family is very heavily involved in their relationships. Okay, what else for the collective when it comes to what's happening next, Spirit? What else? Ooh, wow. We have man crying and filing for divorce. And then makeup again. That was an entrapment. So you could have a person who wants to make up with you, but they feel trapped in a connection with someone else. They could be talking to their siblings about this. There's a confrontation going on about a divorce right now. Okay, what else? Can I get one more card? Vacation, yeah, somebody needs a break. 
So somebody could, this person could be taking a vacation with their sister or their brother, or they could have both a sister and a brother. They're taking a vacation or they're trying to take a break from what's been going on in their life. Yeah. Depression and seeking God. So this person who's interested in you or thinking about you, possibly pulling on your energy to telepathically. We just had that reading about astral projection. That one was serious. So it's like they're feeling really depressed, whoever this person is, because I feel like they're unhappy with their situation. They may have had a brother or sister or siblings who confronted them about being faithful in their connection. Like if this person is their their siblings are telling them if they want to be with you, then they have to be faithful or they have to be upfront about what it is that they want. And if they do have a spouse or a partner, it's like I feel like their siblings are telling them that they need to basically make a choice. There's a masculine energy who's very emotional right now. And I feel like they may have two brothers and one sister, but it's like they it's like they're talking about what they want to do with their siblings. And I feel like the siblings are bringing up, hey, you know, you know how grandma was or, you know, what grandma said or, you know, what happened with our parents and all this other stuff. You don't want to do that to, you know, you don't want your relationship to be like theirs. It, it kind of feels like that. What else? about this situation what else is going on in this situation spirit unexpected outcome things didn't go the way i planned so yeah someone's life is not turning out the way that they thought it would be or the way that they wanted it to be there's definitely things happening in their life that they didn't expect you know man plans and god laughs pretty much sabotage i messed up the good things in my life sometimes or I mess up the good things and then overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. So that's why this person is feeling depressed. I feel like somebody is stressed out in a relationship. And they feel like they may have sabotaged a good thing. Now you could be this person's spouse. And they may have been unfaithful to you. And they want to make up to you for it. You might have been the one who filed for divorce and they could be talking to their siblings about it because they don't know what to do, but they may have been unfaithful to you and now they want to fix the situation because their siblings are reminding them of what happened to their parents. They didn't expect it to go this way, whatever the situation is. They just did not think that their life would turn out this way or that the situation would be this way, but they feel like they messed things up, whether you're the spouse or not. You know, and if you are the spouse, I feel like they're being urged by their family to fix the situation. And if you're not the spouse, they're being urged by their family to like do the right thing. Like if they're going to leave, leave. But if they're going to stay, they need to be faithful. Either way, that's what the conversation is. Whoever you are in the conversation, just place yourself. Okay, because your brother or your sister could be coming to you about this. You could be someone's sister and they're coming to you, asking you advice or asking you what to do, okay? Or you could be coming to your siblings about how to solve your problem, but definitely the outcome of what's going on right now was not expected and this person is drained because they feel like they can never get anything right. What else in this situation? Overwhelmed, yeah. They're trying to figure out a way to like, alleviate this pressure that they feel they may be having headaches as well there's some tea here definitely and and maybe this person is shocked by who they ended up with if you're not their spouse they didn't expect to be with somebody like this or i don't know they didn't expect to want to be with somebody like you but this is overwhelming the stress the stress from this situation is draining me yeah, because I just feel like this person doesn't know what to do. And then we have commitment. I want you to be part of my future. Somebody definitely it has been coming up. Mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Yeah, so they definitely feel like they made a lot of mistakes, either by not choosing you or by not being faithful to you. That's what it kind of feels like to me.
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's use these. So what can the collective expect to happen next in this situation? Yeah, you guys may be having some dreams about this person or you're getting messages from this person telepathically. Maybe even through, you know, tarot readings like this. But there's some type of nonverbal communication that you both are picking up from each other or that you're both doing to each other or with each other. There's a telepathic communication or some type of mental telepathy. What's happening next in this connection? What's happening next? What can the collective expect to happen next? The Empress. Three of Swords and the Page of Cups. Somebody may be disappointed by a child or a pregnancy. Okay. Look. Ooh, ooh. Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put these back, but we have the world, the two of pentacles and the four of swords, but I, sh I picked it up and it was in reverse. Yeah, there's an ending here that someone is planning, but it's really hard to speak about this. It's really hard to say something about this. It's really hard to deal with this head on. I feel like who this person is trying to avoid this situation. They're trying to avoid dealing with this situation. Somebody may be unsure about what to do with the pregnancy, whether to keep it or to terminate it. And they don't know what to do. Or somebody could be healing from a miscarriage or a pregnancy termination. My condolences, whatever the situation is, I don't know how you may be affected. But yeah. I feel like if someone is pregnant, they haven't told the other person. So I don't know if this is your spouse and you guys are in the process of divorcing, but maybe you're pregnant, you haven't told them, or this is a person that you're dealing with and they have another situation and there may be a pregnancy that they're considering terminating and someone doesn't know about it, but they're about to find out about it, or maybe they just found out about it and they don't know what to do about it. What else? What's happening next in this connection? The Nine of Wands. The High Priestess and the Six of Cups. So yeah, you may not know how to deal with this person. This could be what's going on in their life. Like somebody could either be grappling with divorce dealing with a pregnancy issue either themselves or with another person and it's like your intuition is telling you to protect yourself your intuition is telling you to be cautious because it's like you may be getting a vibe from this person that they could be lying or that they could be a little sneaky your intuition may have told you to walk away or you may have had some type of dream that let you know about what this person was doing Or how this person is. Some of you may be trying to figure out what to do in your marriage. Because maybe you're pregnant and you're dealing with a controlling, abusive spouse. But you don't know how you're going to do it by, by yourself. Like if you're in a controlling, abusive marriage, you may want to file for divorce. But you don't know how to kind of like go about the situation. So you may be <clears throat> you may be talking to your siblings about it. There's a lot of arguing. It's like somebody is always arguing with somebody and I feel like then trying to make it up. What else is next in this connection for the collective? Yeah, the high priestess again. So there could be strong Virgo energy. I feel Pisces, Libra, maybe Taurus and Sag, Sagittarius. Somebody is afraid of getting a lot of backlash or receiving like 
backlash about like maybe filing for divorce, leaving their spouse, uh, being accused of having a mistress, things like that. Ten of Cups and the Temperance card. But there's something about basically spirit wants you to pay attention to your thoughts and your feelings and your intuition. They want you to really pay attention to the messages that you're receiving from your higher self. Because I feel like you already know what to do or you already know how to handle this situation or you already know what's going on beneath the surface. Okay. I feel like you already know. So whether you're the, the one who's leaving because somebody's abusing you or you're the one who is thinking about leaving because you're not happy in the connection and you're in love with somebody else or whether this is someone else thinking about leaving because of those reasons, it's like, your intuition is going to tell you what to do. There's also a secret here. Someone could be being abused secretly. Like it's hidden. People don't know about this. Or someone is secretly afraid of this other person. Someone creates an illusion of everything being balanced, but underneath the surface, they may be getting abused. And you may be trying to tell people about this, but you're afraid to tell people. But you're trying to get people to read between the lines in the situation. Yes, girl. Dang. Yes, baby. What's this empress? I feel like also with the high priestess and the nine of wands, whatever the secret is that someone has is getting some, dang, the wind blowing. This secret is getting more, more and more difficult to bear. It's like, it's getting substantially harder every day or each day for someone to keep a secret. And it's weighing down on them. Now the chariot came out with the empress and then we have the moon as well and the page of cups yeah i feel like there could be a secret baby or a secret pregnancy or there's there's things that are hidden surrounding a child somebody may be trying to sneak off and leave in secret or the paternity of a child could be in question i don't know yeah, somebody's making decisions and they're doing it very silently. Yeah, it's like somebody's afraid to tell someone about what they want to do because, ooh, what's this Empress? Can I get one more for the Empress? And the death card. This is big. Okay, this got to be something major. So if there is a secret pregnancy, it's not going to be secret for very long because somebody's about to start showing. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. There's also a change taking place or something that's transforming in this situation. A change is taking place to allow somebody to move forward. Someone may call the police on another person. And that's going to give them the opportunity to like move forward or get out of a situation. Now, this, if it's not about a baby or a pregnancy or anything like that, this could be about someone seeing you as their opportunity to like have what they want in life. Like, I feel like this could be a situation where whoever this person is that may be filing for divorce or unhappy in their connection, they didn't expect their life to be like this. Like maybe when they got with this person or married this person or settled down, moved in, I don't know what the situation is with their situation, but whatever they thought was going to happen, didn't happen. And they may have had good intentions going into the situation, but now the reality of it has become clear and now they're starting to feel overwhelmed. They don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to handle it. 
And they may see you as their opportunity to like have happiness or to do something different in their life. With that Ace of Pentacles and the Justice. This is something big for this person. Their entire life will change if they make this choice, okay? What's the Nine of Wands? Higher friend reverse. Like, this marriage or this relationship is dysfunctional. That's why somebody wants to file for divorce. I feel like they're in a dysfunctional marriage or they're in a dysfunctional relationship. Or there's a lack of commitment. There might be cheating. Like, if there is a child, there could be a paternity test because... Someone's not sure if they're the mother, not the mother, but someone's not sure if they're the father. Someone's not sure about the mother. So maybe this is a man who's not sure that he's the father of this child. That'd be coming up a lot. But yeah, something that's unconventional about this. This could also be LGBTQ plus with the Hierophant reverse. Someone may be coming out of the closet or afraid to come out of the closet. They may be in a traditional relationship, but it could be a cover because they're truly like gay. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords. I feel like their sister or their mother or their grandmother could be telling them that they need to like be positive about coming out or be positive about like whatever it is, even if it's not just LGBTQ, if it's just being upfront about their feelings, somebody is expressing to them that they should express their feelings and not be afraid. Oh my God. They're afraid of the disruption. What's the nine of wands? Okay. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Something about this is just non-conventional. It's maybe maybe they feel that the the relationship or the way the relationship would look would be different like two people that don't really go together. 5 of cups, 10 of cups. Or maybe this person's family wouldn't approve of this. Yeah, I feel like someone's siblings are telling them that they need to maybe stay together in their connection. This is, it's, I don't know what's going on. It's either that the siblings are telling them to be faithful and stay in their relationship, but they feel unhappy in the relationship and they want something different. They could get, like, I feel like someone is getting pressure from their family about, like, divorce. Or there's some type of anxiety about divorce. Okay, because the Ten of Cups is here and the Five of Cups. So it's like there may be some type of loss of like relationships with people because of this. Somebody may feel like they would get a lot of backlash from this connection because it's not a typical pair. It could also be a situation where you have children. Maybe this person doesn't and their family may not approve of the fact that you have children already. This person would have to accept the fact that they may lose connections with people who they consider to be family if they were to decide to be with you. Or they may lose some type of family bond. I don't know if it's like inheritance or something, but I feel like this person sees you as their chance at happiness. And they really don't know what to do. What's the high priestess? The hermit. Four of Cups and the Six of Wands. Okay. So this person has been watching you secretly as well. And they found out that you may be very successful or you're getting a lot of attention. And this is disappointing to them. 
It's not that they don't want you to be successful. It's the fact that they're not with you while you're doing this. Okay. What's the high priestess with this hermit? Yeah, two of swords. I feel like this person is searching for answers somewhere. It's like they don't want to accept. It's something about what this person has discovered about you. They don't want to accept what they see. But it's like it's right in front of their face. Page of Pentacles. Maybe they don't want to accept that you get attention, that you're getting attention from other people. Maybe they don't want to accept that you're successful or that you have become successful in the time that maybe you have not been together or whatever. But it's like there's some type of proof. Whatever this is, it's like they're it's like they may be trying to ignore their feelings. They it's like they're trying not to look at you. They're trying not to spy on you. I feel like they're trying not to pay attention to these feelings. They're trying to ignore these feelings. But it's like deeply embedded within them. My, my, my. That's why people just need to be honest about what they want. Like somebody is having a conniption because it's it, it just feels like they're, they really just don't know what to do. But it's like, it's obvious what they should do, but they may not want to do it. Okay. Virgo energy strongly. Taurus energy strongly. Po Ooh, possibly Libra. I'm dropping the deck. Possibly Libra. Maybe Aries as well, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, so Virgo, Taurus, Libra, maybe even Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And Aries, maybe. All right. I, I feel like this person also may have chosen a path that they thought was best, but it didn't work out the way that they thought. I really feel like there's a lot of people who are circling back around to you in your life because you're starting to... Like it may, like I'm getting like late bloomer energy. Like you may have been a late bloomer, whether it's a late bloomer with your looks, late bloomer with your, you know, physical, late bloomer with your career. You may have been someone who went about things in an unconventional way. The outcome that this person expected from you is not what actually happened. So I feel like they may have written you off because maybe you had kids young or you were a single mom or maybe you were a single dad or maybe they wrote you off because they thought you would never amount to anything. Or It's like something about whatever option that they chose. They thought it was the right option at the time, but now they feel the commitment that they made was a mistake and they're overwhelmed in this commitment for whatever reason they're depressed about it and they're seeking God. That's what I feel about this hermit and this high priestess with this depression and seeking God. It's like they're praying about what the right thing is to do. They're trying to find answers because they're just dissatisfied in their situation. What's this two of swords? Three of swords. I feel like this person tries to avoid the truth or it's like they just try to avoid the truth. Yeah, and there's the two of swords again. This person is disappointed in their reality, but it's justice. Like, I feel like they want to make an oppor they want to have an opportunity or try to create an opportunity to make things right with you, make up with you. But I feel you're getting this person sees you getting justice. They see you getting new opportunities or maybe having a better job or it's like there was something about you that this person wrote off 
and they thought that you wouldn't be the right choice or they thought you wouldn't amount to anything. But it's like they don't want to face the fact that this is justice. They don't want to face the fact that their pain or their disappointment or their lack of, uh, you know, their lack of happiness in their situation is because they made this choice when they probably went against their intuition in the first place. They ignored this spiritual connection. What's the three of swords and the two of swords? Yeah, the hermit again. Exactly. Like when this person looks in the mirror, they are sad because I feel what they chose. Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's arguing in their household, arguing with their family. I feel like they've told their family about their plans and their family disagrees with them or their family doesn't approve of this. They feel like they should just make it right. But they're, but there's literally, if this person is in a relationship, they are arguing all the time with their spouse. Like it is a miserable, I'm talking about miserable. Their spouse just always thinks they're cheating or doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Maybe they are, I don't know. But this person is learning about what pain and sadness feels like. What's this hermit down here? Yeah, chariot reversed. They're learning about what not taking action looks like. How they sabotage themselves. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this situation, but they're not sure they can find a way. What's this chariot reverse? Judgment. Ooh. I feel like this person is just going to ignore these feelings. I feel like this is just somebody who's going to watch you and be miserable in their connection because they didn't do what <laughs> they wanted to do. They're trying to like push away these feelings, but they can't. That's what it feels like to me. They don't want to take accountability necessarily for their actions, but it's, it's literally in their face and they're trying, they have to do everything they can to ignore it. The Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like they want to work things out. They feel drawn to you, I feel, whoever this person is. What's the High Priestess? Five of Wands. Yeah, whatever conflict that they're going through in their mind or in their heart is secret. Ten of Pentacles again. Ooh, and the Five of Swords reversed. I didn't know that card was reversed in the deck. It's like they don't want to fight anymore with their family. Or I don't know if this person is single and their family just disapproves. Or if this person has a relationship and there's arguments in their household. What's this Five of Wands with the High Priestess? But this, this is secret. Yeah, I feel like there's like secret fights. It may not always be physical abuse, but I feel like sometimes it could be physical abuse. Like men get abused too. Women get abused. Everybody has the capability of getting abused because there's abusive, abusive people out there. I feel like there's some type of fights or abuse going on secretly. Okay, damn. The Knight of Cups in reverse. All these cards were in reverse. Someone's very emotional about these arguments or they're just emotional about their internal conflicts, like the feelings that they have internally. It's causing some type of emotional depression. That's probably the depression about what to do. They're focused on this a lot more than what they may show. Okay. What's the Hierophant in reverse? Ace of Wands. Why is the Empress? All oh, these cards are. Okay. Well, this Empress is in reverse. 
And the Ten of Cups in reverse. I swear to y'all. Y'all know my decks do not be in reverse. They be upright. This is crazy. This feminine energy is coming off as very unpredictable, unreliable, codependent, just imbalanced, a lack mentality. And this could be the person who they're with, not very family oriented, not very like, I don't know. This could also be a mother figure that's very controlling and they have to approve all of this person's new relationships and who they decide to be with. And maybe this woman doesn't approve of this person having this connection with you. Yeah, it's like this person's mother doesn't approve of this person's actions. Or they just have a whole bag wife that they're tired of dealing with. Or a whole bag husband that they're tired of dealing with. Someone is not committed. They're unfaithful. What's the Ace of Wands with this Hierophant reversed? Yeah, the title card. And I feel like this could also be someone wanting the divorce. The strength and the eight of swords, but they're holding back because they're worried. It's like they're worried about something that they really don't have to be worried about. So if this is somebody coming out, LGBTQ plus, they may be worried about how people are going to feel, how they may be attacked, but they really don't have whatever this person is worried about, whether it's LGBTQ plus their approval from their mother or like some crazy guy or girl that they're leaving, attacking them or coming for them. It's like, whatever this is, they don't have to be worried about it if they have the courage to live in their truth. Like, I feel like this person is being abused in some way, either by their mother, who's dysfunctional, or by, like, a spouse. <clears throat> and it's like, the more courageous they are, the more they take on this, like, daredevil energy of doing something that this abusive person wouldn't expect them to do, the more successful they'll be in the situation. But they don't see it that way. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles? So this person may be paying their bills or they could be financially stable on this toxic spouse or financially stable on this toxic parent. <clears throat> we have the Six of Cups. There's some type of confusion about the past. I feel like somebody's not sure if a child is theirs. I'm going to be honest. Someone's questioning the paternity of a child because their spouse is hoish. Whether it's men or women, I don't care. Take it how it resonates. What's the Six of Pentacles with this Queen of Pentacles? Ooh. The King of Cups reversed. And the King of Cups is right here. Someone lacks emotional control. Someone's depressed or they're very like volatile when it comes to their emotions. They're manipulative emotionally as well with the moon and the king of swords. Yeah, I feel like someone's trying to manipulate someone else's emotions for like material gain for money. What's the king of cups? Six of swords. Yeah, this person knows that though. With the six of swords. Eight of wands. They're being guided towards some type of proof or clarity about this. Or they're being guided to communicate their true feelings because of this or something. Yeah, somebody's trying to manipulate someone's feelings or emotions to keep like urging them to give to them. Or someone feels guilty or obligated with this King of Cups reverse to make sure that whoever this person is is taken care of because they know they're codependent. Like even if this person wasn't cheating, like just say this... It, this person that you're dealing with is going to leave their spouse and their spouse didn't do anything wrong. They're just not in love with that person, right? They don't feel passionate about that person. They don't want to be in the connection anymore. They still don't want to leave this other person hanging because maybe they have kids or maybe they've built some type of life and they're, you know, they don't want them to be unstable. So they're going to feel guilty about leaving 
because they know they're still going to owe them something from this. This could also be their family members telling them that they need to do the right thing. What's the Six of Swords with the King of Cups? The Empress again. Yeah, it's like this person is going to have to carry them. Like, whoever this is who's interested in you, they, I feel like they're watching you. They feel like they got with the wrong person. They made a mistake and chose the wrong person. And they messed it up. They feel like they messed things up. They want to make it right. They made a mistake. And they chose the wrong person, right? But they know they're still going to have to carry this other person or this this other person who they chose to be with first is going to end up still getting in the way somehow. The world, Oh my God! The world card and the higher front reverse. This is also how people... This person is also afraid of like image. They're worried about how people are going to see them if they were to come out with these feelings, whether it's LGBTQ plus or just regular heterosexual relationships. They're, they're really worried about how people are going to view them or maybe how the, their family's going to view them. But I feel like this is the world or how they're going to be viewed online. They're, they don't want to be seen as a quitter. Or they don't want to be viewed as as someone, yeah, five of pentacles, five of swords. They don't want to be viewed as a cheater or someone who's been unfaithful because the way that it's going to look, it's, it's going to look like they cheated or it's going to look like they were unfaithful or it's going to look like they had a mistress. I don't know how. But it's going to look like that. Maybe people know that you were dealing with this person before or something. And they're going to think that you've been dealing with them all along. But I don't think that's really what's going on. Because I feel like you knew what was going on behind the scenes or whatever. And you didn't want any of that. Yes, baby. What's the death card? Two of Cups reverse, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So they're waiting to talk about this. Maybe they're waiting for Scorpio season or they're waiting for... Oh, my God. <laughs> now, if somebody is pregnant and this is a man coming towards you, they could be waiting for this other woman to have this child because the Seven of Pentacles is here. They could be waiting for either the paternity of a child to be proven because the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice could be like legal documents. Or they could be waiting for someone to actually have the child. And then that's going to be the right time for them. They feel like that will be the right time for them to come forward and say whatever this is that they have to say. So they're not communicating right now. What's this Two of Cups? Reverse with this Death card. Can I get one more? Yeah. They're not communicating their feelings until the right time comes. Yeah, the tower and the hangman. They're waiting to break up with somebody. Jesus Christ. Or they're waiting for Scorpio season. Something about Scorpio season could be significant. We'll pull a time card. But I also feel like they may be waiting for somebody to have a child. Or waiting... <clears throat> they, they could be waiting for documentation of paternity. What's the chariot? The Knight of Cups, yeah. That's when they're going to come forward and express these feelings. Yeah, but they don't want to walk away yet because it's going to look like they were cheating or it's going to look like... Ooh, yeah. If they take action now, they feel like it's going to blow up in their face. It's like whoever this is, they're strategically planning all of this. And the Knight of Cups is over here too with the Page of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Cups with... Oh, my God. The card... It just fell on the floor. Hold on. Oh my God. Ooh, Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody gonna be angry. Yeah, because they know it's gonna they they know shit about to hit the fan. They know shit is about to hit the fan. Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yep. Somebody's gonna try to get this person financially. Somebody's gonna try to hold they're gonna hold a grudge. 
say that they were cheating. They could be trying to attack their finances. What's this empress? Yeah, it's like somebody doesn't want to let this person go and this person knows that. So they have to be very strategic about how they how they move. Yeah, King of Wands, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups. Yeah. I feel like somebody's kind of arrogant or smug or overindulgent. This could even be a situation where, I don't know, this person that's interested in you could have possibly gotten into a relationship with somebody and they maybe started off with at one weight or size. Now they've changed. As they've gotten older, they may have lost some of their luster, so to speak. And this person is no longer attracted to them because they gained too much weight after they had kids or they got sloppy. I'm I'm just, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just telling you what it is, okay? I'm an indifferent spectator. I'm just a messenger. What's the king of wands? It's like this person is no longer attracted to them because they got fat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, Snowflake. I shouldn't have laughed. Yeah, they want to avoid a disaster with this person because they know this person ain't they ain't all together. Three of Pentacles and the Moon card. Yeah. I feel like whoever this is has been supporting your work secretly or they've been maybe supporting what you do as a career path. I don't know if they've been donating to you, but there's some type of secret like recognition that this person has with you. I feel like they're watching you online or I don't know. They may be watching you work, but they're very depressed in their situation. And they've been praying about this um, for a long time. When will this person possibly come forward? Or what is any significant time frame for this reading? Let's see. First, when will this person possibly come to forward towards the collective? In October. Boom. Scorpio. I said that shit. I knew it. They're waiting for Scorpio season. In divine timing. So they're gonna they're they're waiting for the when the time is right, but they feel like it's gonna be in Scorpio season, either because they're gonna get some type of legal information, the divorce is gonna be presented at that time, they may get some type of legal documents about paternity, or it's like maybe some type of legal deal is gonna be finalized at that time. It could be a job, a work deal. There's something that's going on where this person is waiting for Scorpio season in October. Because that could also be November, but they're waiting for something to happen in October. Because then it will be, it will be a better time for them, at least in their mind. That's what they're going to feel like is divine timing. But look, spirit is saying, don't wait around, period. Because <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like this person is hoping and praying that you will wait for them. We got three Scorpio cards, tower, death judgment we also have cancer with the chariot twice and the moon which we've seen twice and the hermit which is virgo which we have twice this cancer energy could also be uh what the fuck is it capricorn maybe um somewhere in there also libra taurus virgo like i said possibly aries um pisces the Empress is here twice. This is crazy. It's like this person knows that they're going to have to send whoever this is off. And they're going to feel guilty about sending them off without doing what's right. And they, they may know that they have to make more money before they can come towards you. Because they're going to have to not only take care of whoever they're leaving behind through this divorce or they're going to have to also and it's like they know they're not only going to have to take care of them who they're leaving behind but also you Ooh, the conundrum what is an important time frame or time in when it comes to this situation january so that that's because this person is thinking about this right now they may be watching you right now wow in a few days something could happen next new moon interesting so let's look that up y'all be sure to hit the like button subscribe you guys um the next new moon
Oh, it's in Capricorn, January 11th. We haven't gotten there yet. It's this week. Interesting. So the January new moon is... So January 11th, put a timer or not a timer, but an alarm or a calendar update for January 11th. Three o'clock could be significant. Um, and that's in a few days from when I'm filming this. Um, if you're watching this after January 11th, I would say today is the ninth when I'm filming it. So the number three is significant. So three days, I would say two to three days from now, put a reminder in your calendar. Interesting. I've got a reminder in my calendar for today that says, see how far you've come already this year. Interesting. See how far you've come. Interesting. There could be some questions that are being answered in the next three days, between the next two to three days from this. Or you can also check from the date that you see this when the next new moon is going to be. But the next two to three days is significant. January is significant and October is significant. But there's divine timing and free will involved. So spirit is basically saying don't wait around for this person. Because I feel like they really, they're waiting on some type of information, documentation, proof, or a job to come through. Maybe they're working with, they could be working with a lawyer as well. They could be working with some type of lawyer or a legal figure to try to figure out how they can get out of a situation without going broke. I feel like whoever this is could be trying to control your mind and get you to wait with this voodoo card and telepathy. I feel like they're trying to get you to telepathically wait on them. And spirit is telling you not to do that shit because they got all this other stuff going on. And the way that you'll know who this person is, is they have siblings, possibly two brothers or one brother and one sister. And they may have like an issue with their mother, like mother issues. Let's see. How else would you know who this person is? Let's see. How else might the collective identify this person's spirit? Matrix. They may, they may be very mysterious or confusing. It's like they don't want you to know what's going on. Deception, union. They may have lied to you about being married or lied to you about a marriage or a commitment or something. Maybe they said they were single, but really they were married. There's just a lot of like, there's a lot of things about this person that, that they either try to keep secret or that they try to like leave open and confusing. How else could this person be identified by the collective? Ooh, bad habits. Yeah, they have a bad habit of not giving you all the details or omitting information. They may have bad habits and they don't really take care of themselves. They could be very heavy. There's something about weight here. There's something about someone being overweight, not eating right, not taking care of themselves, smoking, drinking. That came up in the last reading with coping and all that. And I feel like they may have health problems because they don't really take good care of themselves. Can I get one more card of how the collective may, may be able to identify this person? There could even be something happening in your life in the next two to three days in the month of January around the next new moon. That could be a decision for you to move forward. And this person may be trying to telepathically communicate with you so that you don't. You may be meeting someone with this page of cups. It's like this person wants you to be emotionally unavailable. It's like they're sending these feelings towards you for you to wait on them. And they're trying to get you to wait on them in a in a manipulative telepathic way. Astral projection. The astral travel card came up in the last reading. And what I feel like is going on is you're about to meet someone new. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. And I feel like this person feels it. <clears throat> and they don't want you to be emotionally available to this new person, but I feel like you should. Spirit is telling you don't wait around for this idiot. 
okay? I'm not saying that they ain't wrong for how they feel. It's like they want what they want. But, like, you can't hold somebody else back just because you're too afraid to get your shit together. Okay? What else? How else could the collective identify this person? Children. They may have children. Two of them. Two daughters. Yeah. Or they want to have more children. Maybe you guys talked about this. Maybe they have two children who are moving. Planning relocation with their children. Maybe they move closer to their kids. Or I don't know what that is. But they could have two daughters. And they could be planning some type of relocation. Or maybe they're planning to move and have kids. Okay. Ooh. A mess, child. I'm just an innocent bystander collective. Please don't take it out on me. Because y'all be yelling at us in the comments when we do these readings. But it ain't got nothing to do with us, child. Y'all be like, I don't want that motherfucker no more. They need to go sit down somewhere and find some blocks to play with because they can kiss my ass. And I'll be like, damn, it ain't me. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> oh, what's the advice for the collective in this situation? It don't bother me, though. Y'all can say what you want. As long as you don't negate my reading or are negative towards me. Talking about what I don't know or what I don't see. Don't do that. Okay. That's all I ask. Let's be respectful. Okay. <laughs> what is the advice for the collective in this situation, Spirit? What is the advice besides don't wait around? Shift your money mindset. What else is the advice? Open the door. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Maybe this person, I don't know what the financial aspect has to do with it, but they want you to shift your money mindset or shift your abundance mindset. Yeah. Remember your worth. Ooh. So it's something about you knowing your worth, waiting on this person and, and the fact that it's fucking up your money. I don't know if you're waiting on this person because you feel like they're financially stable or they make good money, but the way this is looking, they're going to be broke if they come towards you. So maybe spirit is saying, if you do want this person, you're going to have to shift your mindset about being with a person with money, or you're going to have to shift your mindset about like material wealth, because they may be broke when they come towards you. And if the only reason why you're waiting on them is because they were a better option financially, you may be having a rude awakening. Um, but it could also be, I feel a situation where your finances could be connected or tied to you kind of dwelling on this. Or your finances could be connected and tied to your knowing your worth and rejecting people who don't treat you right. And I feel like when you start to realize how much you are truly worth in a situation, your finances may improve and you may not even have to worry about your partner or spouse being financially stable other than, you know, just pure enjoyment. Of course, you're not going to want to be with nobody who's broke. Don't nobody want to be with nobody who's broke and codependent. But it's like, that won't be as much of a factor if you realize your worth and you start to build your growth and, you know, you start to build your own abundance. Then it'll be more about the qualities of a person versus what they bring, quote unquote, to the proverbial table. OK, and also open the door. So, yeah, I feel like spirit wants you to open up your options to people who actually treat you right. And yeah, smoky quartz, let go. I feel like they want you to open up your options to more people who actually treat you right versus restricting yourself to options who are only financially appealing. They don't want you to just focus on people who are financially appealing. They want you to build your own wealth so that the financially appealing part of a person doesn't sway you to deal with disrespect. That's what I feel. So I hope it helped y'all. I love you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, put some purple hearts, spam them in the comments if it resonated. Be sure to book your reading for a personal one-on-one -on -one before January 15th. The coupon code and the link to the website are in the description box. And I love you guys. I really appreciate all the support that you've been showing this channel. And I just want to keep bringing you the most accurate messages so that y'all can know what to do in your life. Okay? And that's it. That's all. See y'all next time. Bye.